let's get into this video. I'm actually shooting this at night, which is much better for me, I'm realizing, because there's less noise going on around me. All right, so hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Sean K Beauty. And this is Sean K's Beauty Bar, where we grab from the bar and discuss all things beauty. So hello, a very warm welcome to anybody who's new to my channel. My name is Sean. My background is microbiology and biochemistry. I am in the beauty space and I am really proud to say it. I bring science to beauty and we also do makeup tutorials and just do some fun things on Saturday. So this segment, Monday, Wednesdays and Friday, you leave your questions down below and I feature your questions here on my channel and I'm working with women outside of YouTube, helping them with their skincare routines and their journeys are being successful. And um, yeah, I also work with you down below in the comment section. So I'm loving this community. So let's go into the power of the plant, aloe vera, what it is, what it does for the skin, the hair, and we're gonna touch just a little bit on what it does internally. So let's get right into this. So before we go on, please subscribe, like, share. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. I'm hoping I can do that. Um, definitely, that's a good number for me. If I surpass it, that's great, but 5,000 is a good number. I'm just gonna put it out there. That's really my goal right now. So going into aloe vera, let's talk about why is it termed the wonder plant. So if you heard about the term wonder plant, get the wonder plant, then you know that they're talking about aloe vera. And this was a term given to this plant by the ancient Egyptians because what they found out was this had a lot of anti-aging properties as well as bringing healing to wounds. So what is it in this plant that constitutes uh, the healing properties of it, as well as the anti-aging properties of it. That is what we're getting into right now. So the first key vitamin in this plant is vitamin A. As we all know, we've heard of retinol, a derivative of vitamin A, that is bringing about a lot of aggravation to the skin and irritation, and a lot of consumers now are taking back their retinol products. So what is going to cause this then from lessening me having irritation on my skin if vitamin A is doing it? So here's the thing, and that is a really great question. The thing is, this plant actually has something called bradykinase, which is an enzyme that helps to reduce severe inflammation. However, you all know I'm a huge proponent of saying if you're going to use anything, even if it's natural like this, you want to do a patch test in the middle of your elbow for three days just to make sure that you have no irritation to this plant. Coconut oil is one that I cannot use, yet a lot of people brag about that they can use it on their hair, they can use it on their face. I'm one of them that I can't use that even though it's natural, right? So not everything that's termed natural is going to be right for you. And that's with products that are curated in the lab and that's also with natural products like this. But I'm letting you know that bradykinase is the enzyme in here that helps to reduce severe inflammation. And that's why a lot of people who have acne want to use this. And there's some other reasons too that I'm gonna get into in this video. So we all know vitamin A is great for anti-aging, right? So that would be what the Egyptians discovered with this. But they also discovered that this also has a brightening effect to the skin. And what is constituting to that is vitamin C. So vitamin C is a brightening agent. It stimulates collagen and elastin, which helps to ferment up the skin. So again, bringing in that youthfulness, but it's also a powerful antioxidant. Antioxidants really work well with balancing free radicals or fighting against free radicals by loaning them an electron of oxygen so that that can satisfy the insufficiency that it has and therefore giving you the benefits to your skin. We talked about this a little bit deeper in a previous video than what I did um, on CeraVe. So I don't wanna go too deep into the science of that, but that's just a little bit of a summary of it in a nutshell. So vitamin E is another really great powerful vitamin in this plant. 
And vitamin E, as you know, if you, or if you don't know, is an antioxidant. Vitamin E is one of those vitamins that's great for bringing healing to the skin. So that's where they found the healing happening was due to the vitamin E. That's a soothing agent. That is one that helps with the healing. And vitamin E is known to fight against UV damage. So whether you've gotten sunburn or some sort of sun damage, if you use the aloe gel, then this is going to bring about healing to the skin. So where do we term this plant? This plant is termed as a short stemmed shrub, um, having a genus of 500 species, and it's grown in North Africa. At least that was the origin of it. And then of course, it was imported into America and other places and we started growing it ourselves, right? Right here on the home soil. Tropical islands also grow uh, aloe vera as well. This is one of those leaves that come from the aloe vera plant, right? It's very striated and on the inside is a really beautiful gel consistency that has all of this yummy goodness that everybody uses in these videos on YouTube to either uh, do gel masks or do some sort of gel treatment. Uh, what's great about this as far as hair goes is the fact that this actually has vitamin B12 and folic acid which is known to help to prevent hair loss and stimulate hair growth. Another thing is they found that the aloe vera plant or this gel actually helps to bring increase of blood flow. When you have stimulated blood flow to the scalp you're going to get growth. Now, there is no scientific findings to prove this to be true or otherwise, but I think the proof is in the pudding with a lot of videos that we see here on YouTube that this plant is really helping a lot of naturalistas have that shiny, healthy, beautiful, um, bouncy hair, um, and it is strengthened by this plant. There is power in this plant. Let's talk about what it does internally. Well, it helps to reduce blood sugar and it also helps with a lot of candidates who had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. And a study found that of the candidates that ingested aloe, that they actually felt better. It got rid of the pain and it got rid of the cramps. So here's the thing, you don't wanna overuse this either because uh, there has been reports of people using this in high doses where they end up with muscle weakness and kidney problems, diarrhea. They ended up with, you know, weight loss, but not weight loss in a good way um, because they ended up having the diarrhea and the, the muscle weakness, um, heart disturbances. You just don't want to overdo it with anything, right? It doesn't just have to be this plant. Um, so definitely be cognizant of that when you're using this plant. Um, another thing too, if you have acne, this would be the plant that you want to use as well. Um, it has really, like I said, bradykinase is on the inside of uh, on the inside of here for severe inflammation. So if you have whiteheads and blackheads, uh, this is going to help with that and also because it has salicylic acid. And we talked about salicylic acid in a previous video, which was a part of my acne series about a week or so, week or so ago. And we talked about um, BHAs, which salicylic acid is, and how it goes in and it unplugs the keratin and unclogs pores, um, going deep within the skin and bringing out uh, anything that is congesting that pore, your salicylic acid is going to do that as well as your AHAs. But we're speaking namely to the salicylic acid that's in this plant. So this is going to fight against those blackhead and whiteheads. White heads, and because of the bradykinase, it's going to bring about the healing of the inflammation. If you also have a sun burn or suntan that you're trying to get rid of, a lot of people would use the aloe gel that's in this leaf as well. Funny story, I went into to Whole Foods today and I bought this leaf and the, the cashier said to me, you know, I keep wondering why people keep, keep bringing these tree branches <laughs> for us to check out. And I had to literally tell him the, pro, the benefits of this plant. And he was like, okay, you know, and so 
there's power in the plans and we need to share and educate others about it because it may be something that they're dealing with that they didn't even realize was in something that is only about a dollar 99 at a whole foods you know so that was my story today about this aloe plant another thing i wanted to show you all was the um I think this is called fruit of the earth this is by fruit of the earth it's about eight dollars i got it by my from my nearby grocers 99.8 percent aloe vera juice you can actually drink this aloe vera again is known to um lower blood sugar it's also known to help with ibs irritable bowel syndrome um, of course it's richer in your vitamin c which will help to build up your immunity so vitamin c has a lot of really key properties as well um I don't drink this though. What I do with this is I put it in a spray bottle and I spray my skin with this um, before I moisturize. And you can spray this in your hair with um, castor oil, vitamin E, a little bit of tea tree oil, a little bit of olive oil and make a really great mixture. And I also store that in the refrigerator in a spray bottle as well. It helps to retain moisture in the hair because of the vitamin B12 and the folic acid in here. You're getting the reduction of thinning of hair, hair loss, breakage. So this is really good if you don't want to go through the leaf way you can definitely go through this um this actual juice itself this was about eight dollars i'm sure you could find it on google if you decide to google it but it's from fruit of the earth and 99.8 percent aloe vera and again you can drink this but i don't drink it i just use it on my skin and on my hair it is an excellent toner i've been um washing my face and um putting this on a cotton pad and then putting that on the face. And what this is going to do is bring about that brightening, healing, and it's also going to, so if you have hyperpigmentation um, and it's not so severe where you need like chemical peels and all of that, I would definitely say give this a try because of the vitamin C on the inside, but only give it a try after you do the patch test. All right, so hopefully you all found this video to be helpful. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you like it. Um, and if you want me to talk more about more skincare products or more home remedies that you'd like me to bring my science to, I'll be happy to do that as well. The discussion continues. Leave your comments down below. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao for now.